Shri Krishna everyone, it's about 7.30 and we will start our yoga session. So sit in any comfortable pose, pose Sukhasan, Siddhasan, Padmasan, both hands in Jan Mudra on your knee, spine erect, shoulder relax. Eyes close. We will chant Om three times. We will chant Om with O, A, U, and sound. So inhale and chant three times Om. O, A, Bring both hand in front of the chest, go down to Mother Supreme, again take both hands behind the back and go down to Mother Earth, all the Gurus, inhale, come back up, rub both hands, palms together. Generate warm energy. Place both palms over the eyes. Open your eyelids couple of times under the darkness. Now spread this energy on your face, neck, shoulder and all the body parts. Hari Om, Jai Shri Krishna everyone. Let's begin our yoga practice with prayer. Omkaram Bindu Sayyuktam Nityam Dhyayanti Yoginam Karmadam Mokshadam Chaiva Omkaraya Namo Nama Yoga na chitta sya pade na vacham Malam sharira sya chabaitya kena Yo pa karotam pravaram muninam Patanjalim pranjaliranatosmi Abahu purushakaram Shankha Chakra Siddharinam Shahastra Shirsham Shvetam Pranamami Patanjalim Pranamami Patanjalim Pranamami Patanjalim Let's begin the Shukshma Vyayam Warm up so put both the hands up, hands in the front with palm up. We will do palm rotation up and down. You can coordinate your breath with the movement. We can do alternate. Now take both the thumb inside and make a face. We will do the rotation for the wrist moment. 
clockwise couple of times and anti clockwise now take both the hand and put it back on your shoulder fingertip touching the shoulder blade open inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now let's do on the side inhale exhale coordinate your breath with the movement now let's take both the hand up inhale exhale twist on your left side with right hand pushing the left knee towards front left hand is behind your back make sure your spine is straight not lean too much and try to align chin with the left shoulder you will feel very good twist in the stomach and waist area inhale raise both hand up exhale and turn toward right inhale exhale turn towards left inhale both hands up exhale turn towards right try to look behind as much as back you can and align chin with the shoulder inhale raise both hand up exhale turn towards left let's do last time in relax now we will do some neck rotation so inhale lift your neck up exhale try to touch chin with the chest inhale exhale repeat this few more time up down up down up down now we can repeat the same movement from left and right inhale turn towards the right exhale come to the center inhale turn towards left exhale come to the center again inhale turn towards right come to the center turn towards left side come to the center every time with every movement coordinate your breath now let's do the neck rotation so we will do from right to left and left to right up and down starting from the 
touching chin to your chest starting from right inhale right up exhale left and down let's repeat this three times very slow movement inhale right up left and down inhale right up left and down now we will do anti clockwise so again starting with the chin touching the chest inhale left up exhale right and down inhale left up exhale right and down last time inhale left up exhale right down now extend both the hands on the side way with palm pointing up thumbs pointing up hands in the line with the shoulder we will do shoulder rotation so let's do the gentle rotation around the shoulder joint very gentle slow movement few times clockwise and few few time anti clockwise Let's do anti-clockwise. Now we will do Parvatasan. So take both the hands next to the on the side parallel to the floor inhale bring both the hands together in front of chest you can hold your breath or you can breath normally again inhale and bring both the hands on your top of your head on crown chakra Again, you can hold your breath or you can take the breath regularly. With the next inhalation, take your both hands up. You will feel the very good stretch in your shoulder and hands area. Exhale, bring it, bring it back onto the head hold your breath if your health permits exhale bring it in front of chest exhale and bring both the hands together on the sides let's repeat this three times coordinate your breath each movement with your breath Inhale,
Hopefully everyone completed the session. I, I can see few of you are still doing so I will wait until we start the next breathing exercise. Now let's do uh, deep inhalation, deep exhalation. So sit straight, spine erect, both hands are in Gyan Mudra. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. And try to bring your all awareness onto breath only. Open your eyes when you are done with the last exhalation cycle. Now we will do full yogic breath. So ventilation breath. I think we have done this before also multiple times. Let me give the, uh, let me explain how we do this breath, breathing exercise. First of all, we will inhale deeply. While forcefully exhaling, we will bend forward. Exhale until the last breath. And then we will apply three bandhas. Bottom lock, Mula Bandha, Udyan lock and Jalandarban. By touching your chin to the chest. When there is no breath in your body, we will hold the breath. So we will do Kumbhaka, which is by your Kumbhaka. Again, when you feel that you need to inhale, inhale and gently come back up. After full inhalation, again apply all the three bandha, Mula Bandha, Udyan Bandha, Jalandar one, And retain your breath inside. Antar Kumbhaka. So this is one cycle of the ventilation breath. Let's repeat this three times. Inhale. Apply Bandha. Again, apply Bandha. Second cycle, deep inhalation. Apply Bandha by Kumbhaka. Inhale, come back up. Apply Bandha.
release bandha and inhale let's do the last cycle Again, apply bandha. Relax. Now we will do bhastika. So we will do the inhalation and exhalation forcefully. We can start the three way hand movement front, up, front, and side way. Okay, let's start. Every time forceful inhalation, forceful exhalation. Legs. Keep your palm facing up and breathe normally. Let's do the Surya Nadi Pranayama. So inhale and exhale only from your, your right nostril. Right hand is in Vishnu Mudra. Ring finger and thumb can be used to close the nostril. Right nostril is open, left nostril is closed. The other hand is in Gyan Mudra. Shoulder, hand parallel to the shoulder line. Inhale and exhale only from right. Surya Nadi activates your brain and brings energy, warms up your body. So anytime you are feeling depressed, nervous, do the Surya Nadi Pranayama and you will feel energetic. Next we will we will do Surya Vedana. So inhale from right, exhale from left. Same Vishnu Mudra. Close the left nostril with the ring finger. Deep inhalation from right nostril. Now block the right nostril, exhale from left.
exhale and relax. Now we will do warm up for the feet and below. So sit down in Dandasan. Spine erect, shoulder roll back, hands besides the thighs, knee touching the yoga mat. Let's do first only for toes, pointing out the toes. We can do for feet, same thing, extend your feet, bring it back, coordinate your breath. Let's do alternate feet. Now let's do the rotation. This will help for ankle joint. Anti-clockwise. Now Bring your right foot onto the left thigh. Interlock your fingers with the toe fingers. Press your right knee towards the floor. With the right palm, you can keep, you can keep it down or you can pump it few times. Now exhale and bring it close to the chin. Repeat, let's repeat this two, three times. So when you are pushing it towards the floor, inhale. When you bring close to the chin, exhale. Now, place both the palm underneath your right thigh, just below the knee. And let's do the rotation for the right leg from knee and below. Gentle clockwise rotation. Five times clockwise, five times anti-clockwise. Now, raise the right foot straight up with toes pointing up and try to keep your spine straight as much as you can. You will feel very good stretch in hamstring area, muscles. Now take your both hands on and try to bring your foot close to your nose or head. Exhale and just bring the foot back to the yoga mat. Let's repeat the same thing with the left side. So first bring the left foot onto the right thigh. Interlock right fingers into the toe. With the left hand, palm, press the left knee. 
towards the floor while inhaling. Exhale and bring it back to chin. Let's repeat this three times. Now again place your both hands under the knee, thigh area and let's do the rotation. Anti-clockwise. Now point your toes up straight. The leg should be straight, not bent from knee. And try to keep your spine straight as much as you can. Now take your both the hands on and hold your feet up straight. Try to bring your chin close to the knee. Exhale and bring the feet back. Now let's do some sitting asana. So open your let me adjust my camera. Okay. Open your leg wide apart, V-shape. Inhale, take both hands up. Exhale and try to hold the toes with the hand. With each exhalation, try to lower your back. And try to bring your head to the floor. If you cannot, that's fine. Just do your best. Inhale. Come back up. Let's repeat second time. Inhale and lift your body up. Hands up. Stretch upward. And then exhale. While bending down. Inhale, come back up. Now let's do Janu Shirsasana. So bend your right knee and place the right thigh against the left, right heel against the left thigh. Turn your shoulder blade towards left side. Inhale, raise both hands up. Exhale, try to touch your Knee to the 
थेट टू नी इनहेल कम बैक अप इफ यू हैव अ डिफिकल्टी ऑफ पेन इन योर लोअर बैक जस्ट डू इट जेंटली वॉट एवर योर बॉडी परमिट्स लेट्स रिपीट इट अगेन इनहेल रेस बोथ हैंड अप एक्सेल ट्राई टू ग्रैब योर टो विद द हैंड एंड टच योर हेड टू द नी वाइल एक्सेल लिप you can support your elbow on the floor inhale x come back up let's repeat this on sorry let's do one uh, revolving janu sheshasana before we change the side so since we are doing on left side extend the left hand and grab the left toe now inhale and take the right hand up exhale and try to grab the left toe with the right hand and look up this is called revolving head to knee pose you will go feel very good stretch on your right side exhale come back to normal position now take your we will do on right side so take your left feet place the against the right thigh turn your shoulder blades towards the right inhale lift both hands up stretch upward as much as you can exhale bend forward grab your right toe with your hands and slowly while exhaling try to bring the head to me exhale come back up let's repeat this one more time inhale raise both hands up exhale bend forward with each exhalation try to bend forward and bring your head to me exhale come back up now let's do the revolving head to knee pose on right side so extend your right hand and grab the right toe inhale raise the left hand up exhale take it over your head and try to grab the right toe with the left hand and look towards the ceiling exhale come back up now again open your both legs in v shape we will do 
seated triangle pose so inhale take both hands up exhale try to grab the right left toe with the right hand and left hand is pointing in the 45 degree corner actually both hands are 90 degree to each other and look towards the corner of the ceiling exhale now we will do this on the right side so grab the right toe with the left hand take the right hand behind look towards the corner of the ceiling exhale come back let's repeat it one more time inhale again inhale let's do it on right side right hand going behind at 90 degree to left hand exhale and relax now we will do gomukhasan so take your right leg and bend left hand left leg both the heels are next to your sitting bones and both the knees are on the top of each other you can lift your body up little bit and align your knees position you can use yoga belt or strap now since left leg is up left hand will go behind right hand will go from this side try to interlock both the palms in the rear look straight exhale now switch the legs this time right leg will be right knee will be on the top last time we did left knee on the top so just coordinate according to what you did since right knee is up right hand will go behind exhale come back now we will do ardha matsyendrasana so since we are already in gomukhasan it will be easy to transition just bring your right feet next to the left knee since right leg is up right leg will go be right hand will go behind spine is straight left hand you can push right knee with the left elbow right left palm can be up straight and look behind try to align the chin with the right shoulder if you are flexible more you can grab your right ankle with the left 
hand and look behind to get maximum twist in abdominal area. Exhale. Let's repeat this on the left side. So, right knee goes below, left hand, left leg will be next to the right knee. Left hand will go behind, right elbow will be pushing, left knee. You can try to grab the ankle. Exhale and relax. Now we will do some and camel pose and everything. But before that, just sit in Vajrasana and take few breaths in and out. Open your palm on thighs and just do deep inhalation, deep exhalation. We will have yogic garba around 8.30. So, we will do few animal pose before that. Nisha. We can start with the camel pose. Try to push your pelvis area out as much as you can. Inhale, come back up. Let's repeat second time. Take your hands behind. And try to grab the wheels with each hand. Come back up. Now we will do Sutta Vajrasan. So those who can do in Virasana, they can do in Sutta Virasana. Those who want to do Vajrasana, they can do in Vajrasana. So now with the elbow support, slowly lower your body gently. And put your shoulder, shoulder blade onto the yoga mat. You can lift both the hands up just to make sure that your shoulder blade is in contact with the yoga mat. And then put both the hands on the thigh.
while coming back up just take support of your elbow joint and slowly bring your body up so now we will do a uh, Come back to tabletop position. We will do cat and cow pose. And while we will do cat and cow pose, I want to just make sure that we are ready for the garba. So let's see. If we can do correlate our back with the movement, and every time we have to arch in and. Out of the back. <laughs> Exhale, arch upward. Inhale, arch inward. Exhale, arch backward. Or out. Look at your belly button. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, now extend your right leg straight. Bend 20 degrees. Bring it back to the yoga. Let's repeat this on left side. So extend the left leg straight, parallel to yoga mat. And bring it to the floor. Now we will do child pose. So sit, keep your both both legs few minutes apart. Few few. Inhale. Raise both hands up, exhale, and bend forward, and push your hands or slide your hands on the yoga mat as much as far you can. The goal is to bring the chin and chest onto the floor. And you need to make sure that you are not leaving the heels. Your sitting bones are still in touch with the hips. Now slowly bring your hand towards your knee. Gently come back up. Now we will walk on stand up and we will walk on our heel and toes two circle around the yoga mat. Two times on the heel and two times on the toe. So first we will do up on the toes. Small steps.
now we can switch back on heels Now inhale, take both hands up, lift your body up, stretch, feel upward stretch. Come back. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it on the right side, sway. Palm tree pose. Come back to center. Now left side. Come back to center. Now we will start the garba in few minutes, one minute only. So if you want to grab anything for garba, dandia, Chunni, anything, please do so. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Nisa, we need to do a audio movie.
Epa! 
Thank you, Nisha Mehta. It was excellent performance. <laughs> very good. Yogi. Great. Very good. Very nice. Thank you, Nisha Mehta. Awesome. Music, actions, everything done in so short time. Thank you so much. I hope everyone enjoyed. So, let's go. Thank you, everyone. We did some of the standing poses, so we will resume that. Just stand in Tarasan and take few breaths in and out to regulate your breath. Now let's do Rukshasan. Take your right leg up. up. Place the right heel next to the left thigh. Inhale. And take both hands up. You can directly take up if you feel so. Or otherwise you can bring it in front of chest. But do it only once you find balance on your leg. Join both the palms together or for, sorry. And gaze at one steady point. Feel maximum stretch into your arms. Exhale, come back, let's switch the side, place the left heel against the right thigh, once you find the balance, inhale, take both hands up, join both palms together. Exhale, come back. Now we will do Virbhadrasan. So open your leg wide apart. Turn your right leg towards the side. Left leg is 90 degree. Open as much as you can. Now extend both the hands in the shoulder line. Look towards the right thumb. We will chant to Gayatri Mantra. Om Bhur Bhur. Your, your leg movement for the right leg will be thigh parallel to the floor. Knee and ankle is in one line. Left leg is stretch. Knee should not be bent from for left leg. Sorry, I wanted to explain this before we start the mantra. Lower your pelvis as much as you can. Let's chant 
Gayatri Mantra two times. Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitur Varenam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yonaha Prachodaya Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitur Varenam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yonaha Prachodaya now come up, straight your legs, turn left leg towards the left side, right leg 90 degree pointing towards front, hands in shoulder line, look at towards left thumb, left thigh parallel to the floor, right leg is in straight. And let's chant two times Gayatri Mantra. Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Pargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yonaha Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Pargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yonaha Prachodayat Come back to. Now extend both the legs, both the hands in shoulder line. Let's do the triangle pose. Open the legs three, four feet wide apart. Extend from left side. And take left hand towards the left ankle. And right hand straight up. Both hands in one line, both knees are straight. In. Come back up. Let's repeat this on right side. So sway your upper body towards right. Take right hand towards the right leg. Left hand will go up, look up. Both knees should be straight. Inhale, come back up. Now, we will do Veer Bhadrasan 4. So, try to transfer all body weight onto the left leg. Lift your right leg up. Grab the right ankle with the right hand while slowly transferring and balancing your weight onto the left. Slowly bend forward. Once you feel that you have good balance, extend the left hand in front and try to take right leg up away from the hip joint. Now let's do on the right side. If you don't feel comfortable on yoga mat, you can come on to the hard surface for better balance. Let's do on the right side. So transfer your body weight onto the right leg first. Lift left leg and grab the left ankle with the left hand. And once you find the balance slowly, Extend your right hand while lowering down the body in one plane with the hand and push the right, left leg away from the hip. Come back and relax. Now Lie down in Savasana.
sorry, lie down on your stomach. We will do some poses on stomach and then on the back. Lie down in Makarasana, relax for a few minutes. Now extend both the hands in front and both the legs, lift both the legs up in flight pose. Only stomach is touching the yoga mat and slowly try to lift your hands and leg as much as away from the floor you can. It's a flight pose or superman pose. Or Come back to Makarasana, crocodile pose. The previous pose also called different Makarasana. Now we will do Ardha Salvasana, so take your both the hands under the thigh and lift your left legs up, support with the other leg at the knee, your shoulder and chest and chin is touching the yoga mat. and switch the leg. Now we will do on right side. So lift the right leg up. Support the right knee with the left leg. Exhale and come back. We will do Pura Shalvasana. So if you want to take a few breaths, relaxation in crocodiles, please go ahead and do that. In Makarasana, before we do the Pura Shalvasana. So for Pura Shalvasana, take both the, take thumb inside and make a fist and now place this fist underneath your thigh area thigh and pelvis joint and support your body on this and slowly lift both the legs up Exhale, go back to crocodile pose, Makarasana. Now take both the hands next to the chest area. We will do Bhujangasana. So both feet together. Inhale and lift your body upper body up. Pelvis and other area is in touch with the yoga mat. Exhale, come back. 
Now let's do the Dhanurasana. So grab your right ankle with the right hand, left ankle with the left hand and lift your body chest up and push your both the legs away from the hips. Look at them. Exhale and slowly bring your back legs back on the mat. Go back to crocodile pose. Now lie down in Savasana. Now bring the, bend the uh, right leg and bring the right knee over the chest. Wrap both the hands around the knee and bring it close to the chin or nose and try to touch the nose to the knee. Other leg remains straight. Pavan Muktasan, wind release in pose, exhale, let's switch the leg, so this time we will do our left side, bring the left knee close to the chest, wrap both the hands on the left knee, and try to bring the nose to the left knee. Make sure the other legs remain straight. Toes pointed out. Exhale. Go back to Savasana. Now, bend the left leg, grab the left toe with the right hand, take the left leg towards the right side, Natras pose, extend the leg to make straight. Extend the other hand, left hand, and look towards the left side. Both the legs should be straight. Now, Bring the left leg back and switch the leg position. So we will do this time on right side. Bend the right leg. Grab the right toe with the left hand. Take the right leg towards the left side. Extend. Extend your right hand on right side, look towards right and make sure both the legs are straight, 90 degree to each other. Mm -hmm. 
Exhale, come back. Now we will do bridge pose. So for that, you can take your breath in and out in Savasana if you, you need so. Now bring, bring both the feet close to the hip, sitting bone. Grab right ankle with right hand, left ankle with left hand. Your shoulder blade, head remains in the touch of yoga mat in this pose and also both feet. Now slowly lift your pelvis area up, chest and stomach up. As much as you can, when you feel you have reached the maximum point, you can leave your legs and take both the hands, support the sacrum area, put it behind your hip bones and try to lift your pelvis area up such that your sitting bone, thigh and knee is in one line. Slowly lower your back and go back to Savasana. We will do Sarvangasana and Halasana if these two poses is difficult and if you cannot do, you can do the bicycle pose and the leg rotation. So I will show all the four poses but we will start with the bicycle pose and leg rotation for those who cannot do Sarvangasana and Halasana. If you know already how to do Sarvangasana and Halasana, please Go ahead and start doing those poses. So for bicycle pose, take both the hands, both the legs close to the hip, 90 degree and make a big circle with toes pointing out every time. Others who know Sarvangasana, please do the Sarvangasana. You can change the direction for bicycle pose. Go back to Shavasana. I can show the uh, leg rotation also before I do the other two poses. So for leg rotation, keep your both the hands next to the hip joints pressing against the yoga mat and slowly start rotating one leg in clockwise direction, big rotations, the other leg remains straight. Now switch the leg. Big rotation on left side. Mm -hmm. 
même qui peut avoir une sévère So those who are doing Sarvangasana and Halasana, slowly transition back to the Shavasana. Before we can do the last pose, that's Vatsyasana. So everybody, let's do Matsyasana together. Bring both the hands behind the hip sitting bones. Both feet together, toes extended out. Slowly lift your head and chest area. Touch the tip of the head, crown chakra, onto the floor. Look behind. Close your eyes. and come back to Savasana. Mm -hmm. Now we will start Yoginga in a few seconds. So please get ready for Yoginga. Turn off the light. Take the coverings. <laughs> अब आप योग निद्रा के लिए तैयार हो जाइए शवासन में लेट जाइए सिर से पैर तक एक सीद में रहें पैरों में थोड़ा अंतर रखें दोनों हाथ कमर के बगल में सीधे रखें हथेलियां ऊपर की ओर खुली रहें एक बार अच्छी तरह से शरीर की स्थिति को व्यवस्थित कर लीजिए पूरी तरह आराम की स्थिति में आइए योग निद्रा का अभ्यास शुरू हो जाने के बाद शरीर को किसी तरह भी हिलाना डुलाना नहीं है आंखें बंद रखिए और जब तक खोलने को ना कहा जाए आंखें ना खोलें अब गहरी श्वास लीजिए और अनुभव कीजिए कि शारीरिक और मानसिक थकान दूर होती जा रही है केवल विश्राम की भावना को जगाइए और आपको अभी सोना नहीं है पूर्णतः जागरूक रहना है याद रहे सोना नहीं है जागृत रहना है मेरे निर्देशों का बौद्धिक विश्लेषण नहीं करना विचार नहीं करना सिर्फ आदेश का पालन पूरी तरह से मानसिक विश्राम पाने के लिए तुम सोच छोड़ दो सिर्फ मेरी आवाज को सुनते रहना और जैसा कहूं करते जा यदि अभ्यास के बीच कोई विचार आए आने दे पर निर्देशों का पालन करते रहे अपने आप को शांत और स्थिर रखें पूरी तरह शांत मैं सजग हूं मैं योग निद्रा का अभ्यास करने जा रहा हूं अब योग निद्रा का अभ्यास शुरू होता है यह समय है संकल्प करने का 
ऐसा संकल्प जो आपके विकास एवं रचनात्मक भाव से प्रेरित हो ये संकल्प आपके स्वभाव व प्रकृति के अनुकूल छोटा सरल और स्पष्ट भाषा में होना चाहिए जो भी संकल्प चुने उसे तीन बार कहे मन ही मन योग निद्रा में किए गए यह संकल्प निश्चित पूरे होंगे आत्मविश्वास के साथ संकल्प करें अब हम चेतना को क्रमशः शरीर के विभिन्न भागों में तेजी से घुमाएंगे शरीर के इन अंगों का नाम मानसिक रूप से दोहराइए और साथ ही शरीर के उस भाग के प्रति सजग हो जाएं। अब आप अपने दाहिने हाथ पर अपनी मानसिक सजगता को ले जाइए दाहिना हाथ दाए हाथ का अंगूठा पहली अंगुली दूसरी अंगुली तीसरी अंगुली चौथी अंगुली हथेली हथेली का पिछला भाग कलाई कोहनी कोहनी से नीचे की भुजा कोहनी से ऊपर की भुजा कंधा बगल दाई कमर दाया नितम दाई जांग दाया घुटना दाई पिंडली दाया टखना एड़ी दाई पैर का तलवा पंजा दाए पैर का अंगूठा पहली अंगुली दूसरी अंगुली तीसरी अंगुली चौथी अंगुली बाएं हाथ पर अब अपनी सजगता को ले जाइए बाएं हाथ का अंगूठा पहली अंगुली दूसरी तीसरी अंगुली चौथी बाएं हाथ की हथेली हथेली का पिछला भाग कलाई कोहनी कोहनी से ऊपर की भुजा कोहनी से नीचे की बाह पूरी बाई बाह कंधा बाई बगल बाई कमर बाई जांग बाया घुटना बाई पिंडली टखना एड़ी बाई पैर का तलवा पैर का पंजा अंगूठा पहली अंगुली दूसरी अंगुली तीसरी अंगुली चौथी अंगुली अब अपनी पीठ पर पूरी तरह सजग होना है पीठ का दाया हिस्सा दाया नितंब बाया नितंब बाई पीठ रीढ़ की हड्डी पीठ का पूरा भाग अपनी चेतना को सिर के ऊपर के भाग पर लाइए सिर का ऊपरी भाग माथा सिर का दाया हिस्सा बाया हिस्सा मस्तक दाई बॉ बाई बॉ 
भ्रूमध्य दाई आंख बाई आंख दाया कान बाया कान दाया गाल बाया गाल नाक नासिकाग्र होठ थोड़ी गला अब आप अपनी श्वास पर ध्यान लाएं, सजग रहें सोना नहीं नींद में नहीं जाना नासिका छिद्रों में चेतना को ले आए जो श्वास प्रश्वास आप नाक से ले रहे हैं और छोड़ रहे हैं उसके प्रति सजग हो जाओ अब मैं आपको मानसिक दर्शन की ओर लेके चल रही हूं मैं अलग अलग चीजों और प्रतीकों का नाम बोलूंगी आप उन प्रतीकों का दर्शन अपने अनुभव सजगता भावना कल्पना आदि सभी स्तरों पर जितना संभव हो सके करें यदि आप दृश्यों को सहजता से देख पाते हैं तो यह आपके विश्राम में और गहराई लाएगा अगर आप दृश्यों को न देख पाए तो इसका अर्थ अभी और विश्राम की आवश्यकता है सुने और अपनी भावना कल्पना अनुभव से इन्हें अपने मानसिक पटल पर देखने की चेष्टा करें बर्फ से ढका हुआ पहाड़ जलती हुई मोमबत्ती सूर्योदय का दृश्य अत्यंत सुंदर दृश्य नीला समंदर सूर्यास्त के समय उड़ते हुए पक्षी नीले आकाश में तैरते हुए बादल रात में आकाश में तारे पूर्णमाशी का चंद्रमा मुस्कुराते हुए शिव मुस्कुराते हुए बुद्ध अनंत तूफानी समंदर की लहरें हरी घास लंबे ऊंचे पेड़ और पेड़ों के मध्य में एक मार्ग निकल रहा है अब तुम अपने आप को इस मार्ग पर चलते हुए घास पर चलते हुए देखो नरम घास तुम्हारे पैरों से लग रही है पांव ठंडे होते जा रहे हैं तुम चलते जा रहे हो इस लंबे मार्ग पर जो ऊंचे ऊंचे वृक्षों के साथ घिरा है तुम चलते जा रहे हो नीला आसमान ऊंचे पेड़ हरी घास ठंडी पवन के झोंके शरीर को लग रहे हैं दूर एक मंदिर दिख रहा है दूर एक मंदिर दिख रहा है तुम चलते जा रहे हो मंदिर के करीब पहुंचे मंदिर की दो सीढ़ियों पर चढ़ना शुरू किया पहली सीढ़ी दूसरी सीढ़ी बड़े से चबूतरे पर खड़े हो 
मंदिर के भीतर से प्रकाश प्रकाश आ रहा है अगरबत्ती की सुगंध घी के दीपक की सुगंध नाक तक आ रही है तुम चलना शुरू करते हो मंदिर के द्वार पर पहुंचे भीतर शिव की प्रतिमा है शिव की ध्यानस्थ प्रतिमा काले पत्थर से बनी शिव की प्रतिमा मूर्ति के सामने फूल हैं अगरबत्ती जल रही है घी का दीपक जल रहा है तुम भावपूर्ण हो हाथ जोड़ते हो नमन करते हो जब माथा तुम जमीन पर लगाते हो तो जमीन ठंडी है यह ठंडक पूरे शरीर में चली गई पूरा शरीर शीतल ठंडा हो गया तुम प्रणाम करके उठते हो मंदिर के बाहर आते हो ध्यान की मुद्रा में वहीं बैठ गए हो तुम्हारी आंखें बंद हैं और मन ही मन तुम ओम का उच्चारण करते हो ओ अब अपने संकल्प को दोहराओ वही संकल्प जो अभ्यास के शुरू में किया था अब सभी प्रयासों को शिथिल करो मन को बहिर्मुख बनाओ श्वास पर ध्यान लाओ आपका शरीर पूर्ण विश्राम की स्थिति में जमीन पर लेटा है अपनी चेतना को सिर से पैर तक घुमाओ मानसिक रूप से जिस कमरे में लेटे हो उसके प्रति जागरूक हो जाओ आंखें बंद ही रखें अब थोड़ा अपने शरीर को हिलाएं, पैर हाथ धीरे धीरे शरीर को तानिए जल्दबाजी में उठना नहीं है शरीर को तानिए अब धीरे से उठ के बैठ जाएं। अपनी आंखें खोल लें योग निद्रा का अभ्यास पूरा हुआ turn towards right side take few breath in and out towards right side gently with support of your hand sit back
take both drop drop both the hands with each other generate warm energy place it over the eyes all over your body and let's do some breathing exercise to calm our body down start with the chandra nadi so right hand is in vishnu mudra close the right nostril with the right thumb other hand in the chin mudra adhyan mudra inhale exhale only from that Let's do Chandra Vedana. So, inhale from left, exhale from right. We will do Anulom Vilom, alternate nasal breathing. So inhale from left, hold for few seconds, exhale from right. Again inhale from right, hold for few seconds and exhale from left. Let's repeat this and do it for one minute. You can chant any mantra. Now bring the both palms on the top of each other in your lap. We will do uh, Mahamrutyunjay Mantra with meditation for few seconds before we do the closing prayer. Let's train the Mahamrutyunjay Mantra three times. Om Jalampakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Ushti Vardhanam Urvarkamiva Bandhanam Rutyor Mokshiyamam Rutam Om 
focus on crown chakra and meditate for few seconds Let's chant Om three times. Join both the hands in front of the chest. Let's do the closing prayer. Sarve Bhavantu Sarve Sarve Pashyantu Bring both the hands behind your back and go down to Mother Supreme, all the gurus, friends and family and convey your sincere, sincere thanks to each and everyone for being part of your life. Inhale, rub both the palms together, generate warmth energy. Spread this energy onto your eyes. Open close eyelids in the darkness for few times. Spread your hand onto your face, forehead, cheek, neck, shoulder, and entire body. Hari Om Jashi Krishna. This concludes our yoga session for today. Thank you everyone for joining. And thank you Nisha Mehta for leading the yogic garba. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kindriven. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Krishna, everyone. Thank you.
Thank you, Jessica Rasna. Thank Thank you. Thank you.